Monday morning public safety announcement. Week two of college football is in the books. And I'm shaking my head. Week two of college football is in the books. And I'm shaking my head. Because I'm going to tell you why I'm shaking my head. I just don't understand. First, I want to tell all these wannabe Johnny come lately's uh couch potatoes football programs pump your damn brakes pump your damn brakes it is weak Two. Week two. And you're acting like you don't want a national title. <laughs> you're acting like you in the playoff after week two. And I mean, pump your brakes. I want, you know, some of you fans, man, y'all are just God awful ridiculous. <laughs> I'm serious. I want you to root for your team. I do. I want you to cook out. I want you to have fun. I want you to drink, relax, enjoy your team in week two. Not week 15. Because if you make it to week 15, you know what that's about. You're winning it all. And right now, some of y'all act like y'all in week 15. And let me let me let me let me say this here too, you know. I'm gonna give y'all some do's and the don'ts. Some do's, the things you can do in week two, going into week three, and things you don't do going into week two. In week three. You know. I'm just saying. You know. Some of the things you ought to do. In week two. Is. Support your team. Win, lose, or draw. That's something that you need to do. Automatic. And also. You know. Another thing you need to do. Don't watch Alabama play. Don't watch Alabama play. Not going to help your team. Don't watch Clemson play. Not going to help your team. Them the two, two, the two top dogs on the porch. In my eyes. That's something you ought to do. Another thing you ought to do is don't. The other thing you ought to do is relax. It's week two. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Because your team is 2-0. and oh. You don't know where your team is going. But enjoy. You don't know where your team uh, may be at the end of the year. So enjoy week two. Whether you played cupcakes. Whether you played a, 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 a good opponent and won the game. Enjoy. Those are some of the things you should do. Tailgate to the fullest. That's what you should do right now. All right? Things you don't want to do. And I'm being honest. You know, things you don't want to do and reflect back in bad habits that'll get you back at the same spot you was when you finished the season last year. Don't worry about where Alabama's ranked. Don't worry about who playing for Alabama. Don't worry about uh, is game day is watching Alabama or talking about Alabama on TV. Don't do those things while you trying to do the things you need to do to watch your team. Don't get yourself so wrapped up that you only got one game on your schedule that you want to win. 
Don't do that. Because if you put all your eggs in a basket and you just want to beat Alabama, I'm talking about the LSUs of the world, the Auburn of the world. If you put all your eggs in the basket and just want to beat Alabama, you're going to be in the same spot you was last year, year before, year before, year before. You ain't going to meet a hell of a bean to Alabama. See, that's the difference between Alabama. We want to win the last game of the season. Y'all want to win in week two and celebrate like y'all won the, the championship. Those are the things you don't do. As an Alabama fan that I am, I don't have to worry about the do's and the don'ts because I'm doing the do's and the don'ts because we got all that. I can worry about where we rank. I can worry about when we're going to win the championship. And I can celebrate while we playing week two I can celebrate next week while we're playing week three because we're going to do all that. Y'all can. If you understand what I'm trying to tell you. See, I'm trying to give you some knowledge to put in your noggin because y'all so fixated on that A. LSU. You, you, you know, you, you, your coach got out to a hot start last year. And you stump your toe against Florida. Don't go stump your toe against Florida and mess our game day situation up because we want you undefeated. So you ain't got see, we don't beat you eight last ball games, so now it ain't gonna be not a problem. But what'll be a problem if you go and stump your toe against Florida like you did last year and mess everything up for us. To have game day and all the barbecue trucks and, and everything out there in the parking lot. We don't want that to help. So, LSU fans, we need y'all to pump your damn brakes. Celebrate the wins as they come and enjoy them. Period. That's all I got to say about LSU. Oh, no, you know what? No, I don't. I got one more thing to say about the LSU. Y'all team need to get something together. <laughs> now y'all, your offense starting to y'all y'all offense to come out the twenty first, got into the twenty first century for us. Your offense, but your defense, way them ball went to Holland about they DBU, DBU. To me, look like they ran by you, cause y'all didn't tackle no damn body. In the back half of the of the defense, if you so call yourself DBU, it looked like Texas tried you because they could score anytime they wanted to in the air on y'all. So quit calling yourself DBU when you don't look like DBU the other night. That's all I got to say about that on your your DBU claim because you guys in Texas, neither one of you. Saw a DBU play the other night. That's what I got to say about that. Last thing, that's all I need to say about LSU right now. I ain't worried about no LSU. But uh, uh, but I, I do want to say LSU. I do know y'all quarterback name now, Joe Burrow. Uh, last year, hell, I played it. We came to y'all stadium, played in y'all stadium. And, hell, I ain't never, I didn't even hear the kid name even announced around the tailgate. I didn't even hear the kid name announced in, at the game. But the other night I heard his name because he played good. So now I know y'all quarterback name. It took a whole year to figure out who the hell y'all quarterback was. <laughs> That's crazy, boy. Y'all didn't even know his damn name till the other night. But it's all good. But uh, let me move on to my next subject. This video going to be a little long today. It's public safety now because I want to make sure everybody's safety is uh, is uh, taken care of. So in this college football season, it just started. Uh. Let me talk about Tennessee a little bit. All right. Everybody done seen Tennessee done lost their first two ball games. They got our ex coach, Jeremy Pruitt, uh, coaching, our ex uh, defense coordinator, Jeremy Pruitt, is coaching Tennessee Vols, which the Tennessee people thought that they was getting another Kirby Smart, 
which they do have another Kirby Smart. But here's what they don't realize, Tennessee Vols. And see, Tennessee Vols, y'all all snitch. The man to hide Jeremy Pruitt is a snitch. And a snitch always get what he deserves. He get his ass tore up. That's what a snitch get. Y'all, athletic director, Phil Farmer, is a snitch. Now, let me tell you why y'all ain't. I told y'all last year, Tennessee can hire any coach they want. They ain't never, never, ever, ever, ever coming back. Never. You know what I'm saying? And the only way Tennessee come back, they going to have to move that whole state off the top of Alabama and put it out there around California somewhere or uh, uh, the Midwest. You're going to have to move the whole state. And I don't think you're going to do that. So you ain't never coming back. So basically, Alabama hadn't forgot about all that snitching Phil Foreman did. And Phil Foreman actually did the Tennessee people wrong. He's a snitch and a backstabber. Not only that he a snitch, he a backstabber. He backstabbed Johnny Majors when Johnny Majors was in the hospital, you know, in, in, at Tennessee Vols. Johnny Majors was the coach for Tennessee. Got a big time name at Tennessee. But what Phil Farmer do? He waited till the man got sick and stabbed him in his back and took his job from him. That's the way they ran Johnny Majors out of town. But, nope, they had to have a field for him. They didn't realize he was a backstabber. Then they realized he's a snitch. And the Tennessee fans, y'all got to endure all this from field for him. You know, and the Alabama fans, we ain't never forgot it. We ain't never forgot it. And right now, your misery <laughs> is our happiness. I'm telling you. Because you look at it, Bill Curry helped start a program, what, eight years ago in Georgia, Georgia State, around Atlanta. And that same program that an Alabama man started beat that ass two weeks ago. That's another honorary that <laughs> Tennessee ain't never coming back. Then on top of that, your snitch backstabber, Phil Former, he hires Jeremy Pruitt from Alabama. An Alabama man. Die hard through and through Alabama man. And you know what? We sent Jeremy Pruitt up there to sabotage y'all. Jeremy Pruitt Loves Alabama. But at the same time, he going to put that dagger in y'all back to make sure y'all don't never come back. So, Tennessee fans, y'all, y'all go ahead and keep riding the bus. Because <laughs> what y'all did to us, what y'all snitch and backstabber, coach, and the way he did y'all, coach Johnny Major, y'all getting everything y'all deserve. So, that's all I got to say about Tennessee. Because you you got one, you're going to win one game next week, this week, and after that, you're going to lose the next five or six. So, uh, but let me move on about Tennessee Vols. Uh, my little brother, boy, in the state of Alabama, they, 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 they beat Oregon in the, the drop the duck bowl game. Or, or the whack, whack duck, the whack duck bowl game, or whatever you want to call it, or the duck didn't fly right bowl game. And all of a sudden, my little brother is ready to contend with us, with a young kid named Bo Nix. I love my little brother. But a man, a kid named Bo, and somehow or another, y'all thinking this is going to be the next Bo Jackson? In terms of 
uh, mystique and talent. Bo Nix ain't y'all guy. I promise you, Bo Nix got the job because his daddy. Bo Nix got the job because his daddy played at Auburn. Other than that, Bo Nix wouldn't be the starting quarterback at University of Auburn. Or Auburn University. Whatever which one y'all want to call it. Don't make no difference to me. But I'm telling you, I watched this kid, Bo Nix, play against Tulane. I don't, if by midway through the season, y'all going to be calling for the back up. I'm telling you. Uh, and, and, and if you think this kid going to beat Alabama when he don't even know where the hell he throwing the ball, you're in trouble. And on, further, on another note, you ain't got no running backs going to do anything against us. So we, we hope and pray that you keep your $49 million coach and your Bo Nix. Because we got to have all that in November. So I'm going to be watching y'all, Auburn, because y'all going to get a brutal beating before we even get a chance to put our hands on you. But I'm warning all other teams, you put your hands on our little brother and you got to play us, you know what's going to happen. Just don't don't beat them too bad. Just beat them, but don't beat them too bad. That's all I got to say about all. So, I want to talk about my own team. Because you got these clowns out here on the radio and ESPN hollering by. Well, LSU ought to be ranked number two. Georgia ought to be ranked number two. Bama don't look that good. Bama offensive line ain't gelling. Bama running game ain't that. Two ain't throwing deep balls and hitting touchdowns, you know, on the first play and this and that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Last year we came out like a blaze of ball of fire. And this year, I love it. I love it. Clemson is number one. And we just number two. Trying to get things right. We ain't jailing yet. We got we got a, a, a office alignment that's suspended for four games. That he that's a show enough man that'll be back. So, well, if we get that line right and get those f true freshman linebackers right by the end of the year, we should be jailing. Right now, I don't want to jail. I don't care. We, we just barely getting 100 yards rushing. That's fine with me. Some fans may want it now, but I don't want it now. We had it now last year, and we got our ass beat against Clemson. This year, I want to take our time to get better. Clemson already peaking. Clemson playing at the highest level. Clemson, Clemson think they don't want the national title, just like we thought last year when we came off for winning one. When we beat Clemson ass in New Orleans, and then, you know, of course, they got us last year. But last year team had already had in their head that what nobody going to beat us. This year team knows they can be beat. And what's going to bring the animal out of them. Going to bring that elephant, that big owl, out of them at the end of the year. So y'all keep right on hating, thinking Alabama don't look that good. And at the end of the year, myself, and the Alabama Crimson Tide and Nick Saban and the fans going to make you a believer at the end of the year. I promise you that. So, I want to say this before I get out of here about Jalen. Jalen's going to put up some video numbers, man. I'm telling you. The kid going to be in New York to have a shot to win the Heisman. And I think the Heisman going to come down to him and tour. That's what it's going to come down to. Maybe Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin. Because if, if that kid from Wisconsin put up another, if he put up 2,000 yards rushing, he's going to be in the neighborhood like Derrick Henry was or Mark Ingram. So uh, I'm just saying, right now, those three right there is, 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 
that the top three that that uh, uh got a shot to win the Heisman as of week two or going into week three, my opinion. But uh I don't want to hear nothing about no Joe Bro or no 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 uh 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 from from George. Burrow and From is, is, is about the same guy. You know what I'm saying? You can put both of them together and both of them talent together. Ain't going to win no damn Heisman. So, George and LSU, y'all ain't got a shot. I don't know even what y'all thinking about. Even even mention those two kids, two ball quarterbacks as Heisman hopeful. You know, put them both together and they still ain't got a shot. But Tua and Jalen and Jonathan Taylor, they most definitely got a shot. They right now, them the three top dogs right there on the porch. And that's the three going to be up there in uh, in New York to win the Heisman. Now, when it come down for us and Oklahoma to get together, then it's a different element then. And I know what Tua got to do to win the Heisman. Tua got to beat, uh, he got to win the SEC title. He's got to have a Heisman moment probably against LSU or Auburn for him to win the title because that's what happened last year. He didn't do good in the uh, SEC game, and it cost him the Heisman, which I still thought he should have won the Heisman because of the, the defense he faced it, and, and Murray faced cupcakes all year long. And that's why I believe Jalen's going to have a, a video numbers to to win it. Oh, Jalen got one game to win, Texas. Beat Texas, win the rest of your game, beat Texas again, He's going to be probably the front runner for the Heisman like Murray was. But other than that, I just want to tell y'all, the do's and the don't apply to you. It does not apply to any Alabama fan. All right? Remember, do's and don'ts. Remember that. Roll damn time.